Now we're in the process of completing a prospective phase two trial of the capecitabine, oral 5-FU, and temidar, which we call CAP-10, for the first three letters of each word. And the results that we got were amazing. Uh, I mean, far beyond what I thought what would happen. And it was like uh, a tremendous responses. Not only in pancreatic neuroendocrine tumors, where Sutent and Everolimus have activity, but in every neuroendocrine tumor, we tested all types. There's like 10 or 12 different types. Everything that we tested was resensitive to CAPTEM. And overall, when you look at all the different neuroendocrine tumors that we've had, um, our response rates are like 45% by rhesus, and our stable disease rate are like 52%. So that means 97% of patients are getting clinical benefit. And the other real exciting thing, that's the first exciting thing. The second exciting thing was that carcinoid, which is the majority of neuroendocrine tumors, it's 55% of all the neuroendocrine tumor types. Carcinoids had a zero to 4% response rate normally to chemotherapy. In our CAPTEM, it's 45% and another 50% stable disease. So that means we're helping 95% of our patients. And the, the third major point about this regimen is that it's, as I said before, it's extraordinarily non-toxic. We have um, virtually, we have no phase four, uh, f excuse me, we have no grade four toxicities. We have maybe 10 to 15% grade three toxicities. And the most common toxicity, grade three, was lymphopenia, which has no sequela. Patients did not get opportunistic infections. Patients did not get um, uh, you know, viral infections, anything that went opportunistic infection from, lymph from low lymphocytes. So we were very, very excited about that.